The internal structure of roots is in many ways similar to the structure of the stems to which they are attached. This is a microscopic view of a very thin slice of the root of a dicot plant that has been stained to enhance its cellular features. The outermost layer of cells, called the epidermis, acts mainly to protect the tissues within the root. The cortex lies next to the epidermis and consists of a thick layer of unspecialized parenchyma cells whose plasma membranes absorb water and minerals from the soil. The cortex is also the place where roots store nutrients. The endodermis lies on the inner side of the cortex. This tissue layer helps to regulate the transfer of mineral nutrients into the vascular system of the plant. Next to the endodermis is a layer called the pericycle. It is composed of meristematic or growth cells and is the layer that gives rise to laterally growing secondary roots. The pericycle marks the boundary of the stele, the circular central area of the root that contains all of its vascular tissues. Consisting of large tubes of the xylem that transports water up from the root into the stem and smaller tubes of the phloem that carries carbohydrates produced in the leaves down into the roots. In monocot plants, the central area of the stele is usually occupied by a core of parenchyma cells surrounded by circular bands of tissue, one containing the xylem and another containing the phloem.